if Froggy Greenback was the best overall long-distance jumper of the 60s. The fact remains that there is no place for amphibians in the modern marathon. Who's talking marathons here? I'm talking about the fact that we're better at hopping than you are at running. Not to mention that we have natural sleek green racing stripes. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vinny, I cannot believe this argument. Listen, there is no way that a frog can beat a fox in the race. We are stronger and we have more stamina. Not to mention brains larger than the size of your body. Well, that's a typical fox talking. We are stronger. We are bigger. If you're so big and clever, then how come Grabbit the Rabbit is always outsmarting you? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough of this very silly argument. Come, Brinkley, let's leave. I've better things to do than be insulted by small aquatic leaping vertebrates. Sure, now you can run away when you lost the argument. I did not lose the argument, and I'm not running. <laughs> right, that does it. Let's get this over with once and for all. I challenge you to a race. No problem. In fact, I'd love one. Just you and me. Frog and Fox, the ultimate challenge. A ten-mile race, and the loser must buy the winner a year's supply uh -huh. of forest berry pizza. You got it, Elmore. Come on, Brinkley. You know what has to be done. What do we have to do? Yeah. Oh, grab it. Yes. Help us. I can see your problem. Elmore does have somewhat of a size advantage. That is to say that he is a large fox and you, uh, Vinny, <clears throat> let's just say you're a slightly smaller non-fox. I know it was stupid of me to agree to the race, grab it, but his boasting and bragging was really getting me down. Someone had to defend the honor of our frog pond. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The main thing is, what are we gonna do? We need a plan of action. There's no way Vinny can run faster than Elmo. Hmm. How far are you going to be running again? Ten miles. I'm afraid that's all that separates us from buying Elmo a year's supply of forest berry pizza. Do you have a walkie-talkie by any chance? Grab it, walkie-talkie. Hey, are we frogs or what? Well, why are you asking all these questions anyway? It's just that all you frogs are the same size. And with walkie-talkies, listen, gather round. I think I can help you beat Elmore, but we have to move quickly. The race is tomorrow, and we need to prepare. <laughs> Weather has turned out fine, not a cloud in sight, and I reckon we're in for one exciting race. Gwendola? Thanks, Gilda. I couldn't agree with you more, although I think it will be most exciting if you're a fox. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, the track has no mud on it, and it is in good running condition. I'm afraid I have to interrupt you there, Gwen, and say that Elmo is looking very confident about today's outcome. I know one thing, though. If I was a frog today, I'd take any help I could get. 
Hey, before the race starts, I'd just like to say how nice you're looking today, Gilda. Thanks. I'd like to talk to you about your new feather cure, Gwen, but there's no time. Camellia Cow is raising her starter's pistol, and... <laughs> They're off! Illumar has made a terrific start. Watch that fur of fox fly. He must be running faster than he's ever run in his life. But then if it meant eating forest berry pizza, who wouldn't? What a Vinny frog. Well, we don't know. He seems to have disappeared into the forest. This is, this is, this is Froggy 1 to Froggy 2. Do you copy? Phase 1 in the plan is complete. They didn't realize I'm one of Vinny's brothers. Over to you, Froggy 2. This is Froggy 2, reading you loud and clear. I'll take over. This is amazing. They've run half the race, and that frog seems to be in front of Elmore Fox in the third. That is a shocked Elmore at the halfway point. <laughs> anyway, you join us for the mid-race commentary section. And here with our special insight, our resident forest sports expert, Gwendola. Well, it's turning into a very close race indeed. They've passed the halfway point, and the next key landmark is the number nine rock here, which will signal the last part of the racetrack. Let's get back to the action. I can't believe it. I'm shifting to Fox Turbo Power. Mm. Foggy 2 here. So far, so good. It's all up to you now, Vinny. This is Vinny. Okay, my timing has to be just right. Wait, I can hear Elmore coming. I'm moving now. I've never seen a fox run that fast in my life. Ouch. Gilda, this is amazing. I think Vinny is going to do it. Oh, yes, here he comes. Oh. And the winner is Vinny Frog. Oh. 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 Oh.